Hey everybody, it's Pastor Jason. I wanted to come to you with a children's sermon for this this day. Uh, wanting to continue to always give thanks that you are a part of our congregation here at St. John. And we give thanks for the different ways that you continue to share within the life of this congregation. The faith you share, the joy that is within you, the way you tell the gospel in your own way. And so we give thanks that you're a part of our congregation here. Uh, within our, our gospel today, we have the parable of the talents, and we have this master or this person who gives some money to uh, three people in order to actually uh, give them a gift uh, for them to continue to be able to use. And then he goes on a vacation, and he goes away on a journey, and then he comes back. And so while he's gone, what he does is he gives one of them five talents, and a talent this is a, probably too much for you right now, is that one talent was worth 15 years worth of income. And so it was worth a lot of money. He gave one, 15, five talents to the one, and he gave two talents to another, and he gave one to a third person who continued to say, here, uh, this is to my ability that I'm giving you these. Uh, may you continue to use them. And here they are. Well, when he comes back from his journey, he, he finds out that the one has actually multiplied that and turned that into ten, and not just five, but ten. And he's surprised by what has happened. The next one says, well, here, there's two, and I, found, I made two more. So now you have four, where you only gave me two before. And there's one. This one actually went out. Instead of actually using it, he actually buried it a hole and put it in the ground. And so one of the things that he did, he didn't say he didn't know if he could trust this one who gave this gift to him. And he just, at the end of it, just gave back the same amount that he had. Well, one of the things that we hear within that is that God continues to want us to know who he is. Yes, he gives us gifts and talents to be able to use. And he does want us to use it, but he also wants to know who he is. So we can give thanks when he comes to us, and we can give thanks that he has called us his children. And so when he comes, we shouldn't be afraid. And we shouldn't be afraid to do uh, with what he gives us, the gifts he gives us, whether it be money or some talent or just even faith. Uh, we should continue to use that and believe and trust that he is our God. And we give thanks for him when he comes. So we hear within this of God continuing to be the one who doesn't take away, but actually continues to give to us and invites us in. This is to the, the two that he given and the two had given back. He said, welcome into my kingdom. Welcome into my presence, the kingdom. The other one he didn't because there was, he said, well, I don't know who you are. And so to be able to trust that God, number one, gives us the ability and faith to believe and trust that he is who he is, that he is our father in heaven, but also that when he gives something to us, we give thanks for it. And we acknowledge that it is him giving, not him trying to take away. So we give thanks for you being here and we give thanks for each and every one in this day. So let us have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we continue to know that you are trying to teach us just how much you love us, the love and grace that you give us, the forgiveness, but especially calling us your children and to be able to trust that we can come to you and that we can know who you are right now. May you continue to strengthen that within us. And when all money is gone away, may we continue to know that we have a place with you. May you continue to watch over us and keep us in this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, God's blessings to you, and we will see you next week. God bless.